Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter. Welcome to your Tennis Now News Update. It was a desert dream day for Novak Djokovic. The 38th career clash between the world number one and Roger Federer featured some wild momentum shifts and stellar shot making. In the end, Nole prevailed in a thrilling 6-3, 6-7, 6-2 win to capture his fourth career Indian Wells title, tying Federer's tournament mark. It was a milestone moment for Novak, who won his 50th career title, surpassing his coach, Boris Becker, who won 49 titles. Novak is now the 12th man in the open era to reach that milestone. The top seed overcame a shaky second set tiebreak, where he double faulted twice in a row to blow the lead and donate the second set to Roger Federer. I got back on even in the third, unfortunately then blew it and, uh, and that was it. It was a disappointing end to the tournament, but uh, Novak deserved it. He played very tough today. But with the pro Federer crowd roaring in support of the comeback, the Joker calmed his nerves and pulled it out in the third set. Basically handed, handed the second set tiebreak to Roger, but you know, credit, credit, for him, credit to him for fighting and uh, uh, you know, I'm going to try to enjoy this win. I mean, it's, it's a great win. It's been a great tournament and it's going to give me a lot of confidence now. Novak earned a check for $900,000. However, Roger still leads their head-to-head -head series 20 to 18. But Nole has a 4,000 point lead in the rankings over the world number two. Next up, Miami, where he's looking for a fifth Miami Open crown. On the ladies' side, Simona Halep finished on top over Yelena Yankovic to capture the biggest title of her career in Indian Wells. And yikes, sometimes the champion's workout doesn't end on match point. Watch what happened when Halep tried to do some heavy lifting, only to lose the battle with her crystal title trophy. I have power for this. <laughs> 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 How many kilos? <laughs> oh, no. No, I want to play Miami, so... <laughs> Simona's athleticism runs through her veins, it seems. She says she's inherited her speed and agility from her dad, a former pro soccer player from Romania. And she could be a natural in another sport as well. In a meeting of Romanian sports royalty, legendary gymnast Nadia Comaneci spent some time with Simona before the Indian Wells final. Nadia, you may recall, was the first female gymnast in history to score a perfect 10 in the Olympics. She says Simona is a natural tumbler. Yes. Uh, she will be an unbelievable tumbler, which yes. means that she will be good on floor and uh, on vault. Not a great week for Serena Williams, who was forced to withdraw from Indian Wells due to a right knee injury. She was supposed to play Simona Halep in the semifinals. I've done everything. Like I, um, I've uh, just pretty much done everything from taping to research and, and plans. I even did an injection and I've never done an injection before and I think this was any other event I probably wouldn't have considered it but I was like I really wanted to give 200 percent and um, yeah it just wasn't it just wasn't meant to be this year. The world number one is hoping her doctors are right. They're telling her that the inflammation in her knee should subside in a couple of days. Serena plans to try to defend her title at this week's Miami Open. Meantime, you can check her out on the April cover of Vogue magazine. The article includes some great shots of Serena and her BFF, Caroline Wozniacki. And you'll also read some interesting insights. Serena says it's hard and lonely at the top. She says that's why it's a lot of fun to have Caroline and her sister along. Though Serena and Caro shared a vacation house in the Bahamas last year, they say they've never actually hit together just for fun. And when the pair go out, Serena claims that the men swarm all over Caroline, but they ignore her. The 19th Grand Slam champion has been a page-turning presence in vogue before, telling the fashion magazine she can't imagine life without tennis. There's sometimes when I'm trained, I'm like, why am I doing this? I'm crazy. I love, I love what I do. You know, it's something I cannot live without. Hall of Famer Andre Agassi has a well-earned reputation as one of the best ball strikers in history. But even for a Grand Slam champion, making contact is a confounding challenge when you can't see the ball. Agassi recently met Singapore's Ong Hak Bee, a blind tennis player. He's blind. He impressed the former world number one with his skills, though. First, Andre actually tried hitting with his eyes closed, says he wasn't very successful at all. And with his eyes open, Agassi rallied with Hawk B, who picks up the location of the ball through the sound of a rattle 
embedded in these special balls. The nonprofit organization Sound Ball Singapore teaches blind and visually impaired players the sport and promotes health and fitness. The group is aiming to make sound ball a Paralympic sport. It is played on an indoor badminton court with special sponge balls that rattle. That is crazy cool. It's just persistent. You just have to have patience and do it again and again. I try to hear, and also at the same time, I try to get my steps. All right, we're going to leave you now with our shot of the week, and this comes from Irving, Texas, not from Indian Wells. Check out Sergei Stokowski, flick an amazing tweener winner and celebrate with the shakes. Stokowski went on to win the doubles title in Irving, and with shots like this, not a surprise. Stokowski is coached by Frenchman Fabrice Santoro, who was nicknamed the magician for all of his trick shot skills. And boy, wouldn't you like to see a practice session between those two? That's the news for now. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.